Good morning, dear students. Uh, my name is Farhan Mazar, and today we are working on mathematics. This is Cambridge O Levels D Maths 4024. We are working on the syllabus, and today we are working on exercise 3A from the D2 New Syllabus Mathematics 7th edition. The topic is quadratic expressions, additions and subtraction of the quadratic expressions, expansion and simplification of the quadratic expression. This is the second video on this exercise 3A. And in my first video, we have done from question number one to question number seven. And in this video, we are going to solve uh, from question number eight to question number nine. So let's start today's uh, Exercise, so here we go. So the next question, we are working on the exercise 3A from the D2, and we have already done up to question number seven. And now we are going to work on the question number eight. So the question number eight is showing up on your screen. He says, expand and simplify each of the following expressions. So here you have five plus X plus one in one bracket, multiply with X plus three. So this five plus will go as it is. And these two brackets, they will multiply with each other and we will open them. So let me show you how I have done this. So, here you can see five plus and this, the X will multiply with this second bracket, then plus one will multiply with this second bracket. So you will get this. So now you will have five plus. When this X will multiply, it become X squared plus three X plus X plus three. So we will arrange them X squared plus three X plus X plus three plus five. So you will have X plus X squared plus four X plus eight. Hopefully you understand. Okay, so the next question, three X plus. So instead of five, now we have three X here plus and the same situation here. This bracket will multiply with this bracket. <clears throat> okay, so let me show you. This is the B part. So you will have three X plus X. This X will multiply with this whole bracket. Then this plus seven will multiply with this whole bracket. So you will have uh, this thing. So you will have three X plus two X squared minus x plus 14x minus 7. Then we will arrange them 2x squared plus 3x minus x plus 14x minus 7. So 2x squared plus you will have 3x minus x. You will be 2x, 2x plus 14x, 16x and minus 7. Hopefully you understand. The third part, C part is here you have two brackets here and this two X is multiplying with this, uh, this bracket. So we will do the same thing again. And let me show you, that's the C part. So here you have three X will multiply with this bracket, then plus two will multiply with this bracket, then you will have plus, and this two X will multiply with this bracket, okay. So here we go, three X multiply with X minus nine plus two bracket, X minus nine plus eight X squared. 2x multiply 4x, it will be 8x here, and 2x multiply 1, it will be 2x. So from here, when you, this 3x will multiply with this bracket, it will multiply with both the terms in this bracket. So you will have 3x here minus 27x plus 2x minus 18 plus 8x here plus 2x. So we will have uh, 3x here plus 8x here. So we are arranging the like terms together. So you will have minus 27x plus 2x plus 2x minus 18, so 3x squared plus 8x squared. So the coefficients will be added. You will have 11x squared minus 27x plus 2x plus 2x. So you will left with the minus 23x and minus 18. So this is how you will do this question. D part, so here we have these two brackets multiplying with each other, then we have a plus sign and then these two brackets are multiplying with each other. So this will multiply with this bracket, then this minus three will multiply with this bracket. From here, X will multiply with this second bracket to X plus nine, then the minus four will multiply with this bracket. So let me show you how I have done this. So here we go. So this X will multiply with X minus eight, then minus three will multiply with X minus eight plus, 
Then this x will multiply with 2x plus 9, and then minus 4 will multiply with 2x plus 9. So you will have x squared minus 8x minus 3x uh, plus 24 plus 2x squared plus 9x minus 8x minus 36. So then we will arrange the like terms together. We will bring the like terms together. x squared plus 2x squared minus 8x minus 3x plus 9x minus 8x plus 24 minus 36. So you will have 3x squared minus 10x minus 12. So this is how you will do your question number eight. So let's move to the next question. The next question coming up, which is the advanced level in this exercise of the 3A, it is question number nine. Expand and simplify each of the following expressions. So you will have four X squared minus, and then you have this bracket three X minus four and another bracket two X plus one. So these two brackets will multiply with each other and they have a negative sign outside. So it's a special case. So I will use a square bracket here because of this negative and uh, this negative will go inside. It will change all the signs. So we will keep this negative outside. I will use a square bracket. So this four X square will remain as it is. Then you have a minus. Then I put a square bracket here because this negative will change the, all the signs. So what will happen here? This three X will multiply with this bracket. And then this minus four will multiply with this two X plus one bracket. So four uh, X square minus square bracket, six X square plus three X minus eight X and minus four square bracket closed. Four X square minus uh, square bracket, you will have six X square minus three, uh, plus three X minus eight X. It will be minus five X minus four and the square bracket closed. Now they cannot further be simplified inside the bracket. So I will open this bracket. So you will have four X square because this negative is multiplying with this bracket. So all the signs of all the terms, they will change. So what we will do, I will open it. So you will have a four X square minus six X square plus five X and plus four. So, uh, 4x square minus 6x square, it will be minus 2x square. And then you will have plus 5x and plus 4. So my dear student, this is how you will solve question number 9a part. I hope you understand. So let's move to the next part. Uh, next part. So here we have 2x multiplied with this bracket x minus 6. Then you have a negative sign. This is advanced level because we have a negative sign here and these two brackets are multiplying. Okay, so we will go with the same rule. I will use a square bracket there. Okay, so here we go. So that, uh, sorry, this is the C bar. We were doing, we are done with this. Okay, so I have skipped the B part. So I, I will do that. Somehow I have skipped the B part. Okay, so we are going to the C part. Okay, so instead of doing the B part, we are going to the C part. So these two, so this bracket and this, they are multiplying with each other. These two brackets are multiplying with each other. The only problem is this negative. So I will use the square bracket. So here we go. So you will have a 4X bracket X plus two minus three bracket X plus two minus, and then I will use a square bracket because of that negative sign. So I will, I will multiply first these two with each other, and then I will bring this negative inside. So you will have three X multiply with the minus X minus nine, then you have minus five, multiply with the minus X minus nine, square bracket closed. So you will here have four X square plus eight X minus three X minus six minus bracket, square bracket minus three X square minus 27x minus minus it will become plus plus 5x and minus minus plus and it will become 45 and square bracket closed so it will be 4x square and these two 8x minus 3x it will be 5x minus 6 minus so it will be minus 3x square and minus uh, 27x plus 5x it will be minus 22x plus 45 square bracket close. And now I will open this bracket because the inside this bracket, 
they cannot be further simplified. So you will have 4x squared plus 5x uh, minus 6 plus 3x squared plus 22x minus 45. So it will be 4x squared plus 3x squared. I'm rearranging them. Plus 5x plus 22x minus 6 minus 45. 4x squared plus 3x squared, it will be 7x squared uh, plus 5x plus 22x, it will be 27x minus 6 minus 45, it will be minus 51. So that is how you will do the question number. Uh, let me show you the whole question. Let me reduce the size so you can see the whole question together. So this is how you will do the question number 9C of the exercise 3A. Question number nine and this B part, somehow it has been missed. So I will do that in another video. Don't worry about that. So here we go. So then we are talking about now the B part. Question number nine, it's D part. These two brackets are multiplying. Then you have minus and a two here. So, and these two brackets are multiplying. So the procedure is same. I will use a square bracket here and we will just open them. Okay. So we are going to tap the D part. So two X will multiply with this bracket and then plus three will multiply with this bracket, then minus two and use a square bracket here. This five X will multiply with X plus one, then minus three will multiply with X plus one and the square bracket will close. So from here, we will have 10 X square. From here, I will have minus four X. From here, we will have 15 X. And from here, we will have minus six. This minus two will remain outside square bracket. It will give you five X square plus five X and minus three X and minus three square bracket closed. 10 X square and minus four X plus 15 X is plus 11 X minus six minus two square bracket. It is five X square plus five X minus three X is plus two X minus three square bracket closed. Now uh, inside uh, they cannot be further simplified. So what we will do, uh, we will open this bracket and this bracket outside we have minus two. This, so this minus two will multiply with all these three terms. So you will have 10 X square plus 11 X minus six. So it will become minus 10 X square. When minus two will multiply with plus two X, it will give you minus four X. Minus two multiply with minus three, it will give you plus six. Then I will arrange them. So you will have 10 X square minus 10 uh, X square. And then you have 11 X minus four X minus six plus six. 10 X square minus 10 X square, they will be canceled. 11 X minus four X, it will be seven X. Minus six plus six, it will be canceled. So the final answer will be seven X. So let me show you the whole question. So the whole question, uh, question number nine, and it's D part is showing up on your screen. And I hope that you have understood this question and so my dear students uh, by the 9d we have reached the end of this exercise so uh, my dear students uh, we have done uh, question number nine is a c and d part the b part is somehow missed in my rough work so i will try to make another video and in that uh, short video i will solve that b part but we have completed the exercise 3A and I believe that you can do this question on your own also. So, so we have completed this exercise 3A from the book D2 of the new syllabus mathematics seventh edition. So we were studying the Cambridge uh, mathematics and this is O levels mathematics and the code of the subject is D maths 4024. So I hope you have understood this exercise. Uh, so on this exercise, we have done two videos. Both are uploaded in my YouTube channel. You can watch them. And the name of the play playlist is D2 New Syllabus Mathematics Seventh Edition. So if you are watching this video and you think that this video has helped you, your child, please share the link of this video onto your Facebook, onto your Twitter account, and onto your uh, Instagram because when you will do this, uh, that will help me to promote my channel. It's a great blessing for me to be able to teach you mathematics through this YouTube channel. Thank you very much everyone for watching my video and taking out time and trying to improve your mathematics. Thank you very much once again, have a good day. God bless you all.